Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Create with Kayla. If you're new, welcome. I just want to say thank you for all the love. But first, let's take care of this hula hoop decor challenge that we have going on. I'm hosting a hula hoop decor challenge with my co-host, Maurice DIY. I just hope that you watch the whole entire video. At the end, it's going to be more details about this decor challenge. All right, so let's get started with the DIY. So here is the cute little boho vase that I made. I'm so excited about this vase. I really love it. It looks really good in person, and I hope you like this video as well. So let's get started. What you're going to need are eight plungers, a small vase, sander or sandpaper, a saw, a jigsaw is what I use, a glue gun, a marker, and a ruler to mark your markings. All right, so here is the disclaimer. It was very hard to get the stickers off. Actually, it was impossible. So what I ended up doing is sanding them off. I'm just trying to show you. This is a hard DIY, I'm not going to lie, but I did enjoy doing it. Um, I did have a couple bumps in the road with this, these stickers, but at the end, I just ended up sanding them off. You are going to see a couple of my Dollar Tree fingernails pop off, so just beware. All right, so since I can't get the stickers off, what I'm doing right here is I'm just going to measure the length that I want the wood to be on the vase. All right, so now that I have my length, what I'm going to do is line these all up and then I'm going to draw a line across all of them with a ruler to make sure they're kind of the same height because when I cut them they're actually not going to be the same height but it still looks good. Alright so what I'm doing here is I'm just going to cut the lines that I drew on the plungers. You're also going to do the other side in order to make two sticks with one pl plunger. Alright, so here's the other end of the plunger. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of our previous cuts and then measure it out and cut this the other part of the plunger stick. Alright, so here I am cutting the other end of the plunger stick. Make sure you find the plunger sticks that are not split because this last one that I was trying to cut, it had a split in it and it was hard to cut. Here I am attempting again to try to take off the sticker. So I tried with the sandpaper. It did take a lot of elbow grease in order to take it off. I was going to try the Gojo um, the sticker remover, but I did not want to mess up the wood. I like the natural wood look to it All right, so now what you're just gonna do is just sand off those crusty edges that you made when you were cutting the wood Now we're going to get started gluing these sticks on there. I know I still have the stickers on there, but I'm going to try to hide them as well as I'm going to end up sanding them off and then sanding this whole thing at the end to take the stickers off.
Okay, so when I tried to snuggle that in there, it did not fit. So what I ended up doing was taking off the last four or five that I did. And I actually did this off camera because it was just too much. So that space in between right there, I took off those four or five wood pieces and then I re-glued them back on there. And here I'm just sanding off everything and making sure everything's good to go. Also sanded the stickers when I took some of the thing sticks off. So make sure here this is your going to be your final look, ju but just make sure that you sand it how you want it to look. So me, I didn't care that the wood was mis mix max sizes. I actually liked it that way. So here you can just customize it however you want it. All right, and here's your final look. All you need is some bunny tails and just stick it on in there. As I said before, we are having a hula hoop decor challenge. I am your host and Marie's DIY is your co-host. Um, the only rule that we have is make sure you just use a hula hoop. You can do whatever you want to. You can submit old videos. Just make sure you use the hashtags that are provided below. And just also mention my name and the co-host name in your video. And upload your video by 10 a.m. on August 8th. All right, and that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Create with Kayla. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you can, click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video.